Uh, this is a game I played earlier with muscles. He's marking the panzer wagon, so I was just platooning leopard with him. This Aries of Grease guy, apparently he's like a really big Warzone streamer. His name, uh, muscles was calling him Blake. I guess that's his name, but I don't, I don't play Warzone or anything, so honestly, I don't know much about it. But apparently, he's super big. Pretty cool guy. Anyway, this was like the result was okay, but this was like a really close game. And it's pretty rare to get games that are this close. It's honestly hard to believe we even won this game. By the way, this leopard is gonna be bitching in chat for half the game. If you're gonna talk about how your team deploys, at least understand the map that's being played. Like this guy, God, this is a fucking idiot. If light tank that go three line are noobs, God forbid they end up on the one line. Just complete bots. You're in a light tank on this map, you go zero line. Like if you play light tank over here, the maximum you could possibly get is maybe some guy crosses like a fucking idiot and they get farmed. This is this is like a huge deciding factor in games on this map. Your light tanks should be here. Anyway, this guy's a fucking idiot. So he's just gonna complain in the chat about something he knows nothing about. Fortunately, uh, both of the EBRs come and trade each other out here, which is great for muscles, cause that is, a be that is about the best you can hope for for pub EBR players. It just pray to God that they get the other EBR killed when they die, cause they last about. 45 seconds to a minute. This, because Muscles was so far up and there was no light tank, I do this really greedy play. And when I was doing this, like, I, like, Muscles spotted this leopard on the K line. And I knew, like, it was going through my head when I was doing this, like, damn, if I get myself spotted here, I am totally screwed. Like, there is, there is no cover anywhere. But because, like, Muscles has basically cleared this entire side, I was thinking, like, there's no light tank here. So surely I can just sit here and the thing is that really the dumb thing is I don't even well a couple things one I've driven up too far because I should just barely have my render ring around this guy because I don't need to be any further than that and two I am not even shooting at him spotted I'm taking a blind shot at where I think he might be and I guess spotted because there's a sturve in the bush. I think, like... I'm lucky the first one just tracked me. I think the serve has, like, binos or something. I think my, like, my camo when shooting, when I was sitting still, I'm pretty sure I was sitting still, like 7%. I do not think that guy could have spotted me unless he was running some sort of view range equipment. But either way, I just blew half my health again. Like a trend. Sometimes. I do a lot of stupid shit in pubs. Actually, not even just pubs. I do a lot of stupid shit in general, to be honest. But now, like, I don't know why I didn't just come to the bush line in the first place anyway. Just a lot of stupid decisions. But I'm kind of just waiting for my noob light tank to spot something. She just he really doesn't want to spot anything. In a second, I think the Sheridan has decided he wanted to rotate over here and kill himself. Which is pretty epic. Speed this up is boring as so. hell. A lot of fucking dick happening right now. Oh yeah, there's this guy. I want to shut him, he backs down the ridge. And then there's like nothing left. But in this in this time, like our leopard that was complaining about our deployment he has been sitting at a4 so they've taken the entire other side of the map i'm not entirely sure what this super conk is doing in this position it's quite possibly the worst position you could possibly be in when this is what your team looks like well i don't know what this guy's doing what the hell is this sheridan bro there he is. So this guy, first he makes that cross, and then he just straight fucking sends it down the zero line. It doesn't even 
try and stop. So it's just free farm on this guy. And once this guy is dead, they've got no light tanks. That guy was that, was, that guy was gaming hard. So like I think about rotating back this way, and then I kind of sit here because I want to like win this fight, especially since the E one hundred is a two shot right now. Like I kind of I want to like kind of peek this because the thing is, this guy won't have a shot because of where he is. The only thing is the M four, which is unspotted, and I would have to probably end up backing this way maybe and get shot in the ass so i kind of just sit here and wait for something to happen because i peeking this is most likely suicide this is where i got i kind of get really pissed off so i'm kind of waiting for one of these guys to do something and then i end up falling back a little bit like because muscles is giving a feel i cross this way there's the m4 he was he was a Holding that angle, but I mean he was always gonna be holding that angle. There's like no doubt that he wasn't So I get lit back here and then it's basically it's just me and the 60 TP here and like they know Because everything else has been spotted at this point except the E4 actually the E4 is like just sitting at the bush line I'm kind of just waiting here just holding an angle Expecting maybe the E100 will peak or maybe like this 277 will peak, but nobody peaks At all. There's no peaking going on they're just chilling. I'm sitting here waiting for like a minute. There's, the, there's just no peeking going on. Until they finally push up this road and then pick the 60 TP. Like, they're still just. These guys are the best. I, th I think. Like, usually one of these guys will be peaking before this point. But, like, even if I just said, fuck it, I will go somewhere else, where would I go? Like, I honestly cannot think of anywhere else where I should be. That was fortunate that he bounced that, but also the way I was angled, unless he hits, like, the side of my hull, there's no way he's going to pin. This is where it's kind of, like, really scuffed like we are losing literally everything we've, we've lost all, all of our city control they're starting to fight a4 and we have basically completely lost east so at this point i'm kind of thinking like there's absolutely no way we can win this game and then e4 this guy this guy was sitting here and he was actually out spotting this leopard and for whatever reason, he decides that he instead of just sitting here and out spotting this guy, he's just gonna drive through the bushes and get himself spotted and explode. I'm not sure why he decided that, but that is what he did. Like, where the fuck are you going, man? How do you not expect to get spotted here? Luckily, the Artie shits on that guy. And because both of these heavy tanks died, I kind of want to take this point to push this Yag because he's isolated. The thing is, it's a really risky play because of this Leopard being here. I think he ends up just shooting the E4 this whole time. But I was just kind of gambling that he wasn't going to shoot me. Like, it, it's, don't get me, it's a stupid play, but like, I don't really care that much. But I really wanted to push this Yag. This was really, really stupid. This leopard was always going to load before me. I don't know why he didn't shoot at me. I think he he like repaired his track, went behind the dune or something. Cause like, not I don't know why I didn't take one for there. And even like when I was doing that, I knew this guy is totally gonna overload me. I I could totally be taking a trade here. It's really stupid. And I did it anyway. I saw where the Yag was looking there, and because he was kind of angled towards the field, there was no way he was going to turn around in time to fight me. Square myself to him, so there's nothing you can do. At this point, like, but retaking City like that was really big, but the thing is, I don't, like, this 268, like, I knew the serve was over here somewhere, 
this guy was lit. This guy was lit recently. The 268 is the one where I really just don't know where he is. And he's lit a long time ago. Like, at this point, he probably, he literally could have been in the city. But I kind of just have to play, hoping that he's still over here somewhere. Take this blind and I shoot the fucking rock. Don't even shoot the bush where I wanted to. Upper dies. Right here, the Sturve kills the Artie. Right here. So I know he's field. And someone pings, like, middle here, yeah. The Cax. And, I, like, when I, I wasn't really looking at the chat and who the guy killed, when he was pinging down the bush line here, I thought it was the guy that got killed by him. So I was like, okay, the Sturve is sitting in this bush line. That is a free pick. Like, if he's sitting in these bushes, unless he is, like, within 50 meters of one of these edge bushes, it's going to be hard for him to spot me pushing him. And, like, he's he completely in the open, and, like, it was just a totally free pick. But it turns out, right there, right as I commit, he kills this Progetto, which means that he's zero line, because that's the only way you're going to get an angle of this guy in the city. But I've already committed, so... It's totally fucked. So I've got a batch I already, three rounds, and a CGC shooting at me, and there's this fucking starve here. I thought the game was over as soon as the Progetto died. That's two rounds from the bat already. He's got one left. And I know the CGC is reloading, so I just have to dodge this last bat round. Luckily, I'm on the complete opposite side of the map. And once the bat already goes down, I know this, I've got like 15 seconds before the GW loads. So I just kind of have to hit this guy's Capola. Luckily, his Capola was on the right on the, like, the proper side for me to shoot at, because if it wasn't, like, I don't know what I would do. I'd have to overpeak in him. Because he's stunned, I know there's no way he reloads. And now I just have to dodge the CGC round. Like, thank God these guys, like, both already are on the one line. Because uh, I'm on the complete opposite side of the map. From here, it's kind of... Like, kind of just have to try... And get info at this point because this two six eight at this point I literally have no idea how long ago he was spotted. It's been at least like a minute and a half, if not longer. This Progetto, I was really assuming that he was gonna push down the A line. I'm not sure why he didn't push down the A line as I was killing the Sturve. So I'm just just gonna drive to the end of this bush line, try and get info. End up spotting the Progetto at this building. So the the good thing is, one that he's at this building, which is really dumb. And second, I thought he was a thousand health, but he's actually six hundred. Cause this this is like the threat to me right now. I don't end up sh like taking a shot there because I was kind of running out of bush line, and I didn't want it, this guy to get an angle from the cap. This guy makes sure that like all of this, like I don't think he would have spotted me either way. Like I think I probably. Would have been protected by these bushes, but there's no point to risk it. Just wait until he's behind whatever the fuck this garbage is and then take the shot. And, like, right as that was happening, I don't know if you saw it. As I was killing this guy, my arty shot at the Progetto, and he did, like, 200 damage. Like The Progetto's, like, mid-400s health. And the thing is, I know this guy is a noob because he is at this position at all. If he was a good player, as I was killing the stir, he would have pushed down the A-line, and I would have lost the game. But he has somehow ended up at this position, so he is really bad. Which means I'm going to drive behind him, and I'm going to pen him with HE. The risk here, like, I, there's no way this Progetto is moving. The risk is that I get lit by the 268 on cap. But there's a lot of shit in the way. I was just kind of gambling, because... Like, if I don't pick this Progetto while I know where he is here, like, what do I do? I could, like, I mean, I could probably, I could probably go up, like, red line or something and try and get over here, but it's just really not worth it. So the Progetto, fortunately, I actually saved my Artie from the Progetto, and that is big because the Artie can reset the cap. I'm just gonna get unlit. Like, I, because... The 268 didn't like me crossing. I was kind of expecting him to be like right here because the way these buildings line up, 
he had to be like right here to not spot me. So going back across is kind of risky because the guy knows unless I go this way, which is like going this way is kind of risky because I don't know how to explain. I'm kind of like I'm kind of isolated if I go this way. I'm kind of betting that I won't get shot by his arty. Whereas if I go this way, I have a ton of arty cover and I can just play in the open and spot him. So he ends up spawning me right there. And this is where, fortunately, saving the arty was great because if I didn't didn't have the arty, I would have had to drive this way and the arty wouldn't be able would have been able to shoot me. So luckily the already gets the reset. Like having muscles platoon. Yeah, it's like a Chad gamer. I mean I was talking to him this whole time, but I mean we were kind of on the same wavelength of what needed to happen. Once he got off the cap, I know for sure he's driving into the city because he wants to get already safe. Like I was spot him going this way. He just he has to be in the city. I don't know how the fuck the already ended up there. Or why? Get the awesome high explosive roll of 434. From here, it's pretty much over. Unless I really fuck up the fight against this 268. He ends up like. He. Probably he had like a shot there. I don't know how the fuck he ended up there. Like, I guess it's because I got lit by the arty, so we kind of he must have been like in here. I I think he probably went like this, and went to push like this, and then once I got lit, he ended up just driving straight up. Surprised he didn't shoot me there. Like muscle ends up muscles pings his bush. The thing is like, he can really do anything. They got the whole ridge line to play. I don't. I think it's with this bush, the way the ground is angled here, you kind of have to drive down and then kind of like anger yourself up to shoot this guy. And this might not even be enough concealment to not be spotted. So I just go over here where I like the ground and I peek him properly. You're like being unspotted is not really that big of a deal. My already stuns him, which is pretty sick. He shoots and uh, muscles is like. Chad teammate, he was literally counting down the 268 reload <laughs> as this was happening. So I was like, I knew it. this guy wasn't gonna load in time. Cause it's like, that kind of play, you just drive straight at them and like you never tip your hand, never like cheat to one side because then they can react to it or they can, they can like pre turn or something. You just drive straight at them and then when the time is right, you just fucking cut around them is easy anyway that was the end of that game okay this fucking scrub muscles one it was like a decent game i mean in terms of result it wasn't that crazy but like it was a pretty fun game because you don't really see insanely close games like that very often look at this fucking noob guy here bro holy shit he's like a computer bro anyway Peter.